All right, everybody. Today we are going to spend a little bit of time working on the crayfish tank here. I have had a bucket sitting in front of it for a little while now. I've had some plants in the bucket and I was kind of using the light from the crayfish tank to subsidize the light in the bucket to keep those plants alive. Uh, but I think I am actually going to work on putting those plants somewhere today. And in the meantime, I'm going to work on this crayfish tank. The main thing I want to do to it is actually add a little more water. I did just do a water change on it and I brought the water level up about an inch or so and I want to do a little bit more but my plant in the back in the right there um, isn't the kind of plant that can really be submerged in the water for the most part. If it was really really well oxygenated it would probably be okay but I don't want to have it too much in the water so I'm going to find a rock uh, that I can prop that up on and bring the flower pot that it's in uh, just to the edge where the bottom quarter inch of it maybe or less is in the water just enough to keep it wet but also allow air movement and oxygen to pass through the uh, soil as well you'll rot your roots if you don't get uh, oxygen to your roots uh, in the soil that is so I'm down to two crayfish which I think is going to be a doable number a uh, sustainable number in here for a while anyway. I mean obviously one of them eventually is going to get so big that he takes over the tank altogether. This is only a little 10 gallon tank. It's not a very big footprint. So the other thing we're going to do, we're going to go down to the stream and we're going to get the rock that I need. I don't actually have any lying around here that are going to fit the bill that I'm looking for. I want something that's going to be sort of square and boxy just to give me some height but not take up a lot of space in the tank. So we're going to look for something like that, but we're also going to have a look at the natural habitat of these crayfish a little bit. And maybe if we're lucky, I'm going to try to catch a couple little, uh, maybe a couple little sculpins or maybe some small minnows. Uh, just put a little something in here just to give it a little more activity. They probably won't last very long. The crayfish are pretty good hunters. They'll snatch the fish out of the water or they'll get them while they're sleeping. Uh, but that's the way it goes, you know, in the natural world. So it'll definitely add some more interest to this tank. And we'll get to see a little bit more natural behavior from the animals in here. Uh, other than that, not a whole lot really going on in here. The plants are still doing okay. I don't have a ton of light on them. And it's probably not the best light uh, that there is. It's probably an older um, compact fluorescent. But they're doing okay, so I'm not too concerned about the plants. Again, this is probably just a temporary little tank anyway. It's just something I sort of threw together to have fun with over the summer. So let's get started. We're going to run down the street, and we're going to have a look at where these little guys come from. All right, everybody. Here we are down the street from my house. We're about a half mile away. Normally, I would walk down here. It's a nice, pleasant walk. But today, I drove since I've got my bait bucket and my net. So down there is where we're going to go look for rocks and in through this area where we've got a little bit deeper pool in the washout below the road is where we're going to look for some sculpins and maybe some minnows. We're going to see if we can't snatch something out of there that'll make for an interesting addition to the tank. So let's get on down there and we'll have a little bit closer look. All right, and this is the much less glamorous view. But nonetheless, we are down here. We're at the stream. And my job now is to try to find a small rock that's going to have a little bit of upright structure but not take up too much space in the tank. I have had a little precursory glance around but haven't seen anything off the top of my head so far. And wow, even though this water does flow down into Pretty Boy Reservoir eventually, uh, Pretty Boy Reservoir is like bath water right now. This is most definitely not quite refreshing. Uh, this one over here actually looks like it might fit the bill. Let's see. Uh, that's got the thickness, but that's a little too big. That's a maybe. Uh, a couple little nuggets right here and here. They look alright, but they're a little too rounded. Uh, that might work. It's got some hollow spot right there. All right, I think that'll work. So that's what we're going to use for the rock to prop up the flower pot. And then up here is where we are going to begin uh, looking to see if we can't catch a little sculpin or a little minnow. Who knows, maybe if I snag a little tiny crayfish, we will uh, get to see another one of those in the tank. But let's have a little bit closer look at their habitat.
and that's what it looks like now so I put four of those little minnows in there I've always thought these minnows were black nose dace uh, but somebody told me once from my uh, native tank that I had last summer they said that those were not in fact black nose dace and they gave me some sort of name for them and I actually looked it up at the time and to me it still seemed like it was six of one half dozen of the other it may very well have been what they said but I could still also see that very well being a black nose dace um, so I don't know exactly what those are I've just grown up calling them minnows I have no idea what the actual species is but they're super common around here uh, they're in just about every little stream I've ever been in so I got four of those and I was not able to find any sculpins I didn't spend a whole lot of time down there after I got my rock I shot the video of some of the underwater stuff and then I went ahead and collected up uh, a few minnows and then I came back here and I got started on the tank you can see I've propped the uh, flower pot in the back corner up a little bit and I've raised the water so it's just about as high as it can go and still work with this uh, filter I could get in there and clear the gravel away and actually put that filter up on a brick or something and just lift it off the bottom and elevate it a little bit but I never intended this to be a fully aquatic tank. I always expected it to be uh, at the most half full of water. So it's going to stay the way it is. Again, those um, minnows are probably not going to stay in there for very long. They're probably going to get eaten. When I first put them in there, they all huddled into the bottom. And there you just saw a good attempt at the crayfish to go ahead and uh, snatch at one. So the minnows instinctively want to hide in the cave down there and get out of all that bright light in this new environment. And of course, you know, death is waiting in that cave for them because of that crayfish. The little one in the back there, you can see him. He's back there. He's already tried to grab at the fish a couple of times. So it's probably not going to be too long before I look in there and there's less fish or I might even uh, get lucky and see the fish get snatched. So maybe I'll set up my tank cam and we'll do a little bit underwater photography in here as well. And uh, maybe you can look forward to a tank cam video coming up real soon. And maybe, who knows, we'll get lucky and we'll actually get to see the moment of capture uh, as the crayfish actually snatches the fish right out of the water. And we might get to see it right now, you never know. I did put some shrimp pellets in there. You just saw him pick one up and stick it in his mouth. Uh, I was hoping that would satiate their appetite. but. For all I know, their predatory uh, instinct may very well kick in, and just simply seeing fish swim by, they may just instinctively grab at them. So whether I feed them well or not, I really think these fish have a very, very limited uh, life expectancy in here. So stay tuned, more drama to come, and I will keep you updated on any new developments, and if I ever do catch any little sculpins, I will shoot video of that. So again, look forward to the uh, upcoming tank cam video. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so, that way you won't miss it. Thanks for watching this one, and I will see you real soon on the next one.